Hello and welcome to this, the 31st episode of the Mr. HTML Teacher Tutorials. On today's episode, we are going to be going over PHP. We're moving away from the design basis in CSS and um, the whole HTML positioning of it, um, as in insertion it and where it goes. And we are moving on to PHP. And PHP stands for Hypertext Processor, which is basically um, if you had a submit form, um, what the it's like the background of the form basically. So I've already got one open up here. Um, I've already typed it in and to show. Here is the PHP um, um, document, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's not much other ways you can call it. This is here. Um, let me just make a space between this. As you may have noticed, I've gone ahead and I've downloaded um, Microsoft Expressions um, Web 3 um, for this purpose of showing you how to do this. Um, as you can see here, um, here is the start of PHP. So let me remove all this. Cut it. That is a PHP script there. Um, that's what you start off with, that's like a HTML tag, but PHP. And there is our um, a small symbol that I don't believe is possible to insert with a keyboard. I think you've got to insert it um, by something else, but I'm not going to bother typing all this up, it will take too long. Um, and it is a little bit confusing, so if, if it's possible, you can just put in um, form generator um, as I have done in the past and have done fr to show you how to do this I know how to type it up but it will take a little bit too long in explaining everything in detail of what it goes into so I'll just briefly explain what it is um, my mail says here equals to um, CEO at Heathrow dash virtual.co.uk and then the CC um, which is the subject of it form submitted from your website um, the body, there isn't any body for it. Um, from, and then um, you just got from, and then uh, who it's from, the person's email there. Um, and then reply to, um, pretty self explanatory to be honest. And then the rest is from, um, and x mail our PHP, PHP version. And then we got body and once again there's no insert for the body um, body once again with the small symbol underscore post um, with T1 in it um, it isn't too much to worry about to be completely honest but basically here um, this is the main part of what you want um, you want um, send as it says there mail um, my mail there um, which is here the CC you want so you want them to included now and you want the body which is here and it's empty which it's empty for a reason it's empty because that is where your message will go or whatever you are requesting from the person that's where it will go in there and then from which is clearly there and who it's from um, which could be the person's email whatever in our case we are only using um, an, an email um, so it's only one and then here, this is called a comment tag. This is also used in CSS, um, but here is a comment tag. This is um, says redirect user to your home page. So this is where it kind of goes into the HTML kind of thing. HTML head, meta, HTTP, um, equivalent, equiv stands that equivalent equals your refresh. So it will automatically refresh the page and redirect you to heforvirtual.co.uk um, the form won't be submitted from there, it will just be submitted from a file in the desktop um, or wherever you want to put it and as you see here, you may have noticed there's a semicolon please make sure if you are typing up this kind of script don't type up um, this at the beginning, and I know it kind of sounds stupid, well why not um, it, you just don't, it, it's the way it works um, header, body, email, send and then closes up and then that's your PHP there um, I don't know whether it is possible to um, use um, this as a document, but it kind of comes over the, as the same as a HTML document as shown. Um, if you keep your eyes focused on the top now, um, there is no difference whatsoever apart from the main content of the site. So that's the PHP process. Um, we've just quickly gone over it, and as you may have noticed, I have called it process for a reason. Um, 
and you can't just name it whatever you want. Um, as you see here, form method post action equals open speech marks processor.php. Processor.php. Reason being is pretty self explanatory. Um, the table width is 445 pixels. 455 pixels, sorry. And the background color um, is EEE. -E -E. um, it's not really required, so we don't actually have to have any background color currently. Um, the border is zero, so you don't want any border to show. And that should be a space there. Um, TD um, vision, um, which is positioned at the top, and once again positioned at the top. Input type is the email, and the name is T1, which as shown here, T1. So once again, there's a reason why it's all coded in the way it is. And then we got um, input type submit, so it's a submit button now. Um, that is what this is here. So when person clicks that button, that's automatically redirected to that, and redirected to this page. And then um, value equals submit. So the button will then say submit and close up the table, close the form, and you're completely done. Um, I believe they are saved to the desktop. No, my process is and my index is yes. So there's PHP, there's process I mean process PHP and index. So we're gonna open up the index. And there's that form generator I was on about which helped me a lot. Um if you want to go to that is how to how hot web tools, sorry, um dot com forward slash form underscore gen. Um or you can just put um, hot web tools form generator in. Right, there's um, here's the coding for it um, as shown. I can't show you the example without switching back to this because um, it, it's not available to click on, simple as that. Um, and I've already got the type. So if you put a type in um, and you've already entered your email previously. Then um, you can simply click on that aircraft information twenty f should be twenty five at yahoo.co.uk and you simply could submit the sub submit button out redirect to the page that you've redirected it to. In our case is Heathrow Virtual um, dot co .uk, which is now a web designing page instead of a virtual airline. So that is base of PHP. Um, if you would like me to refer back to any of this, or if you would like me to send you um, a copy of this so you can study it more and get to know it a little bit better um, I'll be happy to do so or possibly I'll zip it up into a folder and I'll put a download link um, below um, as it's not at the side anymore a download link below and um, that's what I'll do when I upload it to the internet and um, you can download it from there um, so that's pretty much the whole I haven't really taught you anything I've just um, like visually I've just summed up and shown you how as it was all inputted anyway um, so guys thanks for watching um, this 30 this 31st episode of the Mr. HTML teacher web tutorials and um, once again thanks to those subscribers I hope you um, enjoyed the video and please go ahead and subscribe to the Gameplay Commentary channel if you have an interest in gaming um, on Modern Warfare 2. Um, I do vary from games, but if you have an interest in that, go ahead, check it out. And um, if you watched the previous video, the 30th episode, the link will come up on the screen as an annotation. And it will be below, um, and I will post it on this video as well. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya.